Twitch up. We're back at our favorite joint. Chef, do you think I'm gonna get something nice here? Sure. All right. What do you think I'm gonna get? Video games. But what kind of what what kind of consoles? What kind of game we talking? Whatever kind you want. Well, you heard it here. Chef predicts a good score here. So we're gonna go with Chef's prediction. Let's go. Heading over to the usual spot. And anything decent in here? No. Blank case. All right. This is a lot of new stuff. Holy crap. Wow. Let's go. This is awesome. <laughs> This this broke. Kinda. Just a little bit. But we got a lot of PlayStation stuff. Yo, we got Ratchet and Clanked. All these good games. We got backyard baseball. Whew. It's not for the GameCube. But the shining moment, it's complete. How's the CD? Scratched as ever a bit. Ooh, I, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with this. I'll, I'll hold it for a, a moment. I'll decide by the end. But, ooh. When you're blessed with the, with the opportunity to hold this game, you definitely have the opportunity to hold this game and just take advantage of it. What do we have? We got Sly, it's Honor, Sly 3, San Andreas, another copy of San Andreas, a bunch of sports games, Secret Agent Clank, that's a new one, it's complete too, I don't know anything, I don't know anything about these games, so, There's a lot of Ratchet and Clank stuff. Aragon, so that was a horror movie. Ratchet Reloaded. Sly 2, Guitar Hero 2. It's a wrestling god of war. You basically have someone's childhood here, and this is completely awesome. What else is there? I'm gonna actually take a look at some of these Ratchet and Clank games, honestly. Alright, we're here at the Exchange in downtown Pittsburgh. Um, we had a performance for jazz band, and we were allowed to basically free roam, so we decided to stop down at the exchange, just, you know, see what we can find, see what we can do, and yada. So, yeah, maybe if I get something here, I mean, it'd be pretty cool, but, yeah. I don't know what console I want to get. We have Mario Tennis for, tennis for 9, hmm. not bad. I'm just curious. Let me see Dreamcast stuff. Yeah, nothing jumping out. Um, do they have their accessories somewhere? Oh, here they are. <coughs> oh, I'm a black controller. If I get a, if I get a price mark or something, I might get it. What's up, cadets? Tia? Is this Tia? Yeah. There's the heavy hair! You have to go to observation space, cadet. Is this the security case of a Benjamin button? Of course. I've seen a big collection of PSP stuff for a while. That's pretty cool. Huh. I got a lot of box stuff up there. Um, I seriously can't tell what's even up there. Some off brand GameCube controllers, PSP movies and stuff. Um, Dreamcast stuff. Game Gear? What is that Game Gear thing? 
Yeah, huh. yeah. I'm gonna have to ask about that. Crazy text. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna ask about that, so. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. I miss this over here. I completely miss this stuff. Controllers are 20. Where's the GameCube stuff at? Oh, right around the corner. Alright, if they have backyard, mm, backyard football, not baseball. Oh, that's depressing. Yeah, tag team. I'm currently at a three buck budget, um, because I had, um, lunch before this. So, you know. So I can look at what even matches my price range here. If anything. I guess the game keeps being jerks. Kind of expensive, so. Game playing episode one. This is this is uh, this is for episode thirteen. <laughs> All right, so, so I just left the exchange. Got me a controller, five dollars. I tell him dirt cheap, and Chef just picked me up. And he's complaining about downtown. So, yeah, downtown's your favorite, isn't it? Far from it. You're the air coast. And a bus almost took our friend end off. Yeah, some bus just pulled around the corner and just like made this wide turn and nearly hit us. So it's lovely, but yeah. I'm not gonna claim five bucks, so yeah, drive downtown. It's Christmas time here at Goodwill, I see. <laughs> Let's take a look here. I've never seen that before, I think. Oh, I can never say never, yes. You know, I think OGP would definitely want never say never. I mean, he doesn't like he doesn't like Taylor Swift, but I know he has a soft spot for Bieber. You, you can just tell by the way he acts in every one of his videos. He wants Biebs. I mean, just look at that hair. Look at that lush hair. If it wants, yes, there we go. Those luscious Bieber locks. Mmm. OGP. That's all you want. We're back. So. Let's see what we have here. Hey, it's still here. Hmm. He hasn't come and picked it up yet, that's depressing. Yo, what is going on guys? It is T.O. here and I am back with this week's pickups. I got a lot of free things this week, so I think we're going to jump right into it. But first, before you guys, you know, start wondering, did he get that? I'm going to clarify. That Wii U box back there, it's not mine. I did not get a Wii U, no, don't get your hopes up. But my girlfriend did. It was supposed to be a Christmas gift from her, or for her, but she got it early, and so I asked for the box, because I'm that type of person to ask if I can have the box for your console. I I'm that guy. So, nonetheless, I did, and I got it from her, and to say the least, she loves the console, so, yeah, and she wants to do stuff with that on her channel, but that's, that's another topic for another day, so we're gonna get into pickups here. Um... Cause we got a lot, a lot of free things, so we gotta go through them. I'm, I need to get my head in the game. I, it, I'm filming this at the worst possible hour. So, anyways, uh, the first place I hit it for the week was up at the Repurposed in North Hills, and I got two PSP games for the price of a buck each. They've been sitting there for months upon months, so I decided just to pick them up since I don't have many PSP games. So the first thing I got was NBA 06. It is complete Dong. and the UMD just flopped out. Um, and a little tip for you guys. Oh, it is, it's complete, obviously. And tip for you guys. Um, if you are collecting for the PSP, make sure that the UMD is not actually bent in. Because this can, this plastic here can be pressed inward, in case you didn't know that. And it can make the disc unplayable. That's happened to numerous discs of mine from back when I got my PSP for Christmas, like, what, 10 years ago? Something like that. That happened, it happens over time, like, through use. So just, just be careful with that. And if possible, try to get some backups. Um, and the next game I got was MLB 06, the show. 
And likewise, it is complete. And the disc is not being pressed inward. So, yeah, that's good. And the lady, one of the ladies there also said that, hey, if there's any games that I have I can confirm to her that have been there for, like, over... She says, like, if any game has been there for over six weeks, I'll just take half off of it. And every, every video game they have there is $2. So, if I walk in there and just buy all the video games because they've they've the stuff's literally been sitting there since like at least june it's been sitting there it's like xbox sports games and stuff if i wanted to i can go there and buy them for a buck a piece but i really have no need for a bunch of xbox sports games original xbox mind you so i mean if there's anything decent there i mean i might as well pick it up or something in the meanwhile next time i head out there uh moving on um I think it was the same day I got... Yeah, it was the same day. I went out to the Goodwill up in North Hills. And they got a lot of PS2 games in. Like, basically someone's childhood just walked into Goodwill and was put on the shelf. Which, I mean, was pretty unfortunate. To see their childhood basically, like, go into the wind. But, hey, it's good for me since I got one of the games there. Uh, it was $3, as per usual. And, um, uh, it's a PS2 exclusive, and... That's kind of why I wanted to get it, because it was good disc and PS2 exclusive. I've never never really seen one of those besides, like, the iToys or whatever. And those games are pain in the rear, I'll tell you what. Anyways, um, obviously for the PS2, I got Secret Agent Clank. And it is complete. And as I mentioned before, the CD is in pretty good shape, couple wear and tear scratches on there got a couple plays but nonetheless a cool game to add to the collection since i mean the only time i really buy ps2 games if it's like something like this if it's like a if it's a game that's like that was a game series that was intended to be on the playstation 2 or whatever and it's like cheap and good then i'll pick it up it's not like i'm gonna go out and buy out like all the sports games there like that's completely ridiculous it if anything i would probably do that on the gamecube because i want game i need i want gamecube games that that's my that's my click right now n64 and gamecube games that's, that's that's what i'm looking for that's what i want and i'll actually get more into that later where i'm going with it i need to figure out where i'm putting my crap here let's go back over here um oh i almost forgot about this um, the next, I think this was actually the first thing I got for the, no, just kidding, it was, yeah, I stopped at those two places first, um, uh, then I was at, out at the exchange in downtown Pittsburgh, I was there for, for, my, for a performance with the jazz band at my school, and, you know, my band director basically just said, go ahead, and hang around the city for a little bit, because we were by, a uh, the PPG, uh, ice rink during the winter so we basically just basically just let us chill out there just hang out and i went down to the exchange it was a block away so went there with dragon and space cadet whom is a whom is a very strange fellow and he approaches himself as a foot he literally calls himself a foot it's it's an inside joke but nonetheless went there with those two and they have these, they have things, they have this for dirt cheap. At any other store, any other exchange, it's double. But I picked myself up for $5, a black Dreamcast controller. This is my second one I've gotten in the past few months. And I, I, things I also want to collect are Dreamcast controllers. Like, there's just so many variations of it. And they're just, they're just, they just look really cool, honestly. So, Five bucks, I'll definitely pick it up. Because at other stores, it's a good ten. A solid ten dollars. Even if it's just a plain white controller, still ten dollars. So, I'll get a discount on that any day. Um, I need to war learn how to speak English here. Um, the next place I w actually... Yeah, the, the last thing I actually purchased um, was for three dollars. I was at the Good Bull out in Lawrenceville. And I, you know... I, I kind of regret this purchase, and you'll see in the next episode, because I, cause I have some stuff already for episode 14, so, yeah. I, I, I get ahead of the game with pickups, but I get behind on the actual videos, so. That's my fault there, so. 
moving on. Um, yeah, I kind of regret this purchase. I can always sell it on eBay or something. But for three dollars for the original Xbox, I got GTA 3, the Xbox collection. It's disc one, I believe. It's part of the whatever that little Xbox collection. It's it's just GTA 3. I think it comes with Vice City or something, some other game. But yeah, it's complete. It has the map and the manual and everything. It's not worth my time looking at the disc because we got to get to some of these three pickups because I've been rambling way too much. Way too much here. Uh, let's begin here. Um, I got three things from my one friend, John. Huge shout out to him. And he gave me two N64 games and a PS1 game. And I'm just going to say these N64 games are killer titles. I'm telling you what, I was... I was... It's so happy to get these. The first game I got... You know what, I'll go with this one first. First game I got... Was Elmo's Letter Adventure. Yep, Elmo's Letter Adventure. He had them. He didn't, he didn't play them, obviously, since he's my age. You're not gonna play these games from your childhood. Basically, when you were like three. So... He gave them to me. This is one of them. The back label was ripped because I had to clean off labels on here and it just got stuck to it and it was just the way it was placed on, which sucks. But I can always find a replacement copy eventually. And the next game he gave me was Elmo's Number Journey. You know, two Elmo games. Like, hot damn. This is two birds with one stone here. I mean, if you're slacking on what what comes after you know X or what comes after L you know play some out Al play some Elmo's letter adventure you'll 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 figure out where you're at and then you know if you're forgetting what comes if you're forgetting why six fears seven play Elmo's number journey and I say the least also there's some labels I got to clean up here but the back is in good shape so that's completely awesome and the next game the last game from John at least the PS1, obviously, uh, we got Street Fighter Alpha Warrior's Dreams. Now, I have I don't think I own a Street Fighter game, but I think I've played it before, but, you know, it's complete. And, you know, I think I, like I said, this would be the first in my collection, and I'm really glad to have it. Uh, this has been scratched, but, eh, it's been, it's been played before. So, thank you to John for these three items. It means a lot to me. I appreciate it. And moving on, we have my friend Nick. I got a lot of friend pickups. I mean, it it's completely out of, you know, just, well, it's either I'm asking, you know, if you have any need for them, which is kind of my fault there. I don't mean to have it appear greedy if it does. It's just, I've gained such a thrill and like almost an addiction to finding video games. It's, it's kind of ridiculous and... <laughs> borderline like <laughs> pet I'm, I'm missing the word here it's just it's so weird but to the least I've got addicted to it so you're gonna see a lot of friend pickups so move let's, let's get into these um, the first thing he did he gave me four DS cases because you know he basically c couldn't care less about the cases just more about the games so that's completely awesome I guess for me and so, we're going to save the best for last year. Um, first thing I got was another game case for Mario Kart DS. I have like three of these already, so... You know, I'll just go to the collection or just eBay replacement case or something. I'll figure it out. And I got my sec... I got another case for Mario Party DS. And all these are complete, so... And getting into the good stuff. Uh, we got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time. And then we got Pokemon Heart Gold version. And it's just not for resale, too. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's really cool. This game I was lent by Nick until he uh, gets a GameCube controller. So obviously, you know, it's a GameCube game. Big spoil. But that game is Super Mario Strikers. It's in a really, really, really ghetto case. Because he he's his friend l l let him use it. His friend never asked for it back, and now it's in my possession. So it's basically just been hand, handed down. Uh, the disc is 
it scratched, but it obviously got a lot of good play. And I've been playing it, and it's it is so much fun, so so much fun. And I'll mention this again in a little bit, actually. And the last thing I got from him was. Oh, that's a bit label damage. I didn't even notice that. Uh, it's for the Game Boy Color. I got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I'm supposed to be doing a trade with him with this, but I haven't figured out anything to trade with him yet. So, yeah. I'll probably make a note of that when I trade him next episode, because I haven't done that. So, yeah. Again, thank you to Nick for those. I really appreciate that. And we'll get into <laughs> the third... This is the third, yes. The third three pick, free pickup of the week. Um, well, for starters, I got a replacement case from my friend Luke. These are both from Luke. Replacement case for my Smash Brothers Melee. This is my old case, you know. As you can probably see, this weird ripple tear in the middle of the casing. And it's lined up with Game... Not Game Cuba. GameStop stickers on it. It's eh. didn't even didn't even have the original manual when I got it. So he since he had two copies of the game, he was willing enough to give me the game case and included the manual as well. So I finally got a complete version of Smash Bros. And I still got the old manuals from the uh, previous case and like it had like the Nintendo Power advertisement and the. Uh, little GameCube warning manual or whatever, but not the actual game manual, so it's nice to have it complete. I mean, I have a bit over, but oh well. It's always nice to have it complete. And um, this game I'm basically borrowing from him. It's been something I've been looking for for a while. Some of you have been watching since the beginning. You might know what I'm talking about. I've mentioned this many times, and I actually had a goal to get it before episode 10, but that fell, obviously, because I never found it, which sucks. But, for the meanwhile, in my possession, I am borrowing Backyard Baseball. Yep, this game I've been looking for for so long, complete. I'm going to play it when I can, because I don't know how long I'm going to be borrowing this from him for. But nonetheless, I'm just pumped to have it. And it, it, If you don't have it, get it. It's so much fun. All the Backyard games are so fun. Um, so anyways, thank you to Luke for those replacement cases and the free lend. I appreciate that, dude. And, uh, the last thing. As I mentioned Dragon earlier, um, I got from Dragon Guitar Hero on Tour Decades for the Nintendo DS. Tis complete with the, uh, gift receipt, essentially. And the reason I say gift receipt is because I got this as a gift a gift in the gift exchange for the drumline Christmas party since in my school I am part of the drumline um, I stepped up and I said to host the Christmas party this year since the person who hosted it the past few years before had graduated so I stepped up and hosted it and um, yeah it was a lot of fun to say the least and yeah dragon had me as the as my as a secret Santa so, he got me this, and to top it all off, <clears throat> you know, I'm in the video with this, I don't care, I got this from him as well. It is an Elsa from Frozen Cap with <laughs> the uh, hair extension, I guess you could say, and to say the least, I look, I look pretty rocking in this, I look pretty fly. Put any, put in any hip-hop adjective there, and it, and it works for me. So, yeah. Thank you to him for this, obviously. It means a lot. Now I just need to get the actual DS Guitar Hero adapter. So, that's something I might find in the future. Um, but yeah. That's about it for this week, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you can't take me seriously, please leave a thumbs up. And if you did enjoy the video, also leave a thumbs up. Um, you know, comment below of any games that you suggest I go hunting for, and tell me what your favorite pickup was. I'm I'm really curious to see what you guys have been, what you what you guys think was the coolest, and you know, 
worst, best, yada, yada, yada. Just leave me some feedback below. And if there's anything I can do to make this series any better, more enjoyable, I'll work to get to that point. So once again, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you're new. I'll talk to you guys next time.